Hello, this is Fred Rowe from Sarah Bright Dot Fly Fishing Guide Service. I've been teaching guiding, riding, and lecturing on fly fishing since 1982. Well, let's get to this week's fly fishing report. It's summertime. We should be in what we call the dog days of summer. But you know what? Fish in the middle of the day, particularly in the upper Owens, it's been good. What am I using up there? Well, I'm nymphing and we're using all of Quildagon's beadhead flashbacks, size 16s and 18s. We're also using size 16 beadhead flashback gold-ribbed hairs here. And then on the surface, we're fishing with size 16 elk hairs. We're using size 18 blueing olive uh, mayflies in the parachute form. And then we're also using pale morning tons in a size 16 in a parachute. And we're also fishing size 20 and or 22 trichos, parachutes and trico spinners in the morning if I get up there early enough to catch the trico hatch and or trico spinner fall. All right, let's talk about Hot Creek. Well, the weed beds, it's full on. That's one place I can tell summer is. The weed beds, they're full growth. So there's little tiny channels. If you can drift your flies in those channels, the fish are there, they're under the weeds. They'll feed. It's being able to get a drag free drift to convince the fish, come up and take your fly. Although I can nymph in there, it's tough with the weeds. So we're dry fly fishing. Besides, dry fly fishing, it's a lot more fun. So what am I using? Well, there's still some PMDs around, size 16, trichos first thing in the morning. And then the great caddis in a size 20. And what flies am I fishing? Well, I like parachutes. So we're using a size 16, pale morning dud parachute, then a size 20, blue wing olive parachute, and a size 20, I'm using parachute caddis and also the X caddis. Okay, let's talk about Crawley Lake. Well, I drove around the lake on Saturday because guess what? They finally opened up the road on the North Landing Road, which gives us access to the north side of Miguel Bay, North Landing, and Green Banks area. So that means for those of you who want to fish the lake in those areas from the shore or from a watercraft like a kayak or a float tube, you can now access those areas. I drove down the North Landing Road over to Sandy Point and back out. No problems with the ground. The water's dropped just enough that everything's dry, so no getting stuck out there, but no driving out on the lake bed, yet the lake's still that high. So the best fishing on Crawley right now seems to be over at the mouth of McGee. They're fishing in that area, and what are they doing? Well, guess what? We're fishing with midges like we always do under an indicator using size 18, tiger midges, zebra midges, gray midges, albino barons, that kind of stuff. But what else we're doing over there? Well, there's weed beds. And if you can get in around the edges of the weed beds, which is where a float tube really shines, you can fish calabeta snips in size 12, 14, maybe even down to a 16. And then you can also fish damsel nymphs in a size 10 or a size 12. And then still a tad early, but here pretty quick, we are pulling some perch imitations, particularly young of the years. And that's where a small balanced leech is really good. All right, let's talk about the free stones, specifically Rock Creek. Water's just starting to drop a little bit. It's still pretty up and high from the snow melt. But if you can find the soft spots to fish with a dry and a dropper, you're gonna catch fish. And what am I fishing with? Size 16 Adams parachute or a size 16 elk hair caddis or guess what? A size 16 royal wolf and underneath either a size 18 pheasant tail or a size 16 gold ripped. Here is it. And that goes same thing for Bishop Creek. We're upon, it's been really fun. So has North Lake and intake too. Use the float tube, fish dry and a dropper there. Um, the fish are fishing both fishing. They don't fish, they feed. They're feeding on the surface. And what are they feeding on? 
well, I'm using a Mayfly imitation or an Elkhair Caddis on the surface in a 16, and then underneath, I'm fishing a size 18 beadhead flashback pheasant tail or a size 16 beadhead flashback gold rib hairs there. Okay, let's talk about Bishop Creek Canal. Well, we can fish down there anytime we want, but middle of the day, it's still really hot. Doesn't mean the fish aren't feeding, it just means it's too hot for me to be out there. I melt quick. Okay, when am I fishing? Primarily in the evening, looking for the caddis hatch. So I wait for the sun to go behind the Sierras, and then I go out with a size 16 peacock body with a uh, grizzly hackled palmer through it, elk hair caddis, and fish it up and across, let it drag downstream, let it strip it back in. It's called skittering a caddis, and those fish whack the fly really, really well. Well, this has been Fred Rowe from Sierra Bright Dot Fly Fishing Guide Service. I can be found on Instagram, Facebook, on my webpage at sierrabrightdot.com every Tuesday at Mahogany Smoke Meats and at my favorite, lpptv.us.